Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to Zombie. This was a game that came out for the Wii U. It was called Zombie U and they made it uh, they ported it over to the next gen systems the PS4 and the P sorry, the PS4 and the Xbox One. I was going to say PS3. I don't know if it's on 360 or uh, PS3. <clears throat> but I know for sure it's on PS4 and Xbox One. I don't think it's on previous uh, gen consoles, but don't quote me on that. But for sure, next gen. Or current gen, whatever you're calling it nowadays. Anyways, I played a little bit of this game. I didn't really think I was going to do a series on it, but... Then I was like, you know what? This would probably be a good series. I mean, I like it, so... We're going to put this at 50... And we're going to leave subtitles on. They're off by default, so if you do buy the game, make sure you turn those on. Turn my sensitivity up. It was slow as hell. And yeah. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to be playing the campaign. It's just a single player game. Uh, there's normal mode. You play as a new survivor each time your character dies. And then there is survival mode. You play only one survivor, and when he dies, the game is over. Screw that. I would rather beat the game first on normal. If I really somehow like the game and wanted to play it again, I'll do it on survival. But nope, we're going normal the first time. Okay. I remember this. Chicken for newbie survivors. No leaderboard participation. I'm going to go standard just like I did uh, the f first time I selected it. Here we go. And in those days shall man seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Revelation 9-6. The alchemy of wealth from air will bring a second blight upon mankind. This fog of death will cloak the land, and those men who are not prepared will succumb to its foul clutches. For God shows no mercy on those who heed not his words. Thus will the end come, and the world, made unworthy in his eyes, will be purified by black angels, so that he may begin anew. Ooh. That's not kind of scary, man. <clears throat> So sadly, it's just the port. It's not like a remaster of the game, so don't like expect it to look amazing. Beast mode. But for twenty dollars, yeah, it's twenty dollars on the store, guys. It's digital only. I think it's a pretty good game for twenty bucks. But you can watch me play it and be the judge of that. I just think it's that's my opinion. It's good enough for my twenty dollars. scared as hell like when I started cuz but there I haven't really been getting scared there's just tense moments that's pretty much it like right here run and plus if you're a fan of zombie games you'll probably like it has a nice survivor type vibe to it. Come on, it's not too far now. You can loot uh bodies. 
Some will be alive, some will not. Uh, I don't know if it's random, I, I doubt it. It's probably just the same ones are gonna be, like, if you play it a second time. If you all know what I mean. Okay, I don't think these wake up. I didn't really have a hard time so far with my flashlight, so... I, I was on this part forever, like, I didn't know what to do. Basically, you still run up. I thought I was gonna have to go past all those zombies over there, but don't get... Uh, don't be scared, just run up, you're gonna take a left. That's how you get out of here. Oh my god! It's so scary. <laughs> That's basically just the start. <clears throat> I was just there like for about 10 or 15 minutes just trying to figure out how am I going to get past those guys with no weapons. I was kind of scared. Like I thought I was, I was going to have to stealth past them and hell no man. That's scary. <laughs> I mean this game, this game gave me that scary vibe. Yeah, so you go this way. There's also another way in through there. Just turn this bad boy on. Now you can see what you're doing. Go back to the main room and look at the monitors. It's pretty cool, like you have your own little safe house base. And um I don't know if you lose it later, I haven't gone that far. You go in there later, so I don't worry about that. Where did you say go to the monitors, right? You see, the last person I tried to help went outside without the pad. And look how that ended. But there is something else you can use. That backpack is a bob. Bug out pad, see? You need it and what's inside. Ah, <sighs> drinking my soda. All right. You can also loot, but right now it's not letting me loot anything. We'll just go along and I'll show you. Oh, you know what? I didn't even know that. I didn't know you can make your flashlight brighter. So you hold it and you can make it brighter. So that's pretty cool. Though I haven't really found a need to make it really bright, so... <clears throat> you can also make barricades uh, with like, I think planks. I haven't made a barricade yet. But I think you make them with like these planks that you find. Close the door. I don't like leaving doors open unless I am sure there's like a zombie and I'm gonna have to make a quick way out.
Now might be a good time to try out your radar. Very useful. You're going to want to be using your ping. See that red dot? It's going to be a enemy. Or it could be other things like a bird. You know, they'll try to trick you. It pretty much detects anything that's alive, not just zombies. Go on. Pick up the cricket bat. Don't be squeamish. And there's the former survivor. Think has an unspoken agreement between survivors. Because if you got infected, isn't you want someone to do the same for you? Good going. A nasty business, but it's got to be done. Now, check that bulb. As I recall, there's a pistol and ammo you're definitely going to need. So yeah, in this game you have to hold uh, the left trigger to like, I guess get ready to hit and then R2 to the right trigger to hit. Okay, so we got our bag, hit the touchpad, at least on the PS4 to do that, I guess on Xbox it would be that, excuse me, the three line button or whatever. Alright, so we got the pistol, you can also uh, make them in slots like that so when I push right on the d-pad got the pistol You've got to keep this place clean if you want to survive and this is basically how the aim is which I don't like I wish it was like down the sides but it isn't like that in this game <clears throat> at least so far I don't know if they made the game where like you have to get an upgrade for it to aim like that that would be weird found some more handgun ammo What else? I think that's it. Oh, I picked up some planks. I don't know where from. I, maybe I glitched and got it in the room. I have no idea. Get prepared. More than 20 hours awake, and your decision making goes to pieces. Don't neglect your sleep. Alright, so we're basically just going to go back multiple ways back you can go through that door we went through the middle there you can slide under here a lot of uh, pathways I'm gonna look around for a second see we got planks and stuff I'm gonna gather supplies it's an aspect I like about this game I like to feel like a survivor this would have been really cool like uh, they need to make a game like this, but um, with some co-op or something, that would be really freaking cool. What's that? More, got some more planks. I guess I missed those. We're going to come back anyway, so it's our base. Head back to the main room and take another look at the monitors. And now it's letting me loot. So you can loot if there was something in there. You would, it would show you um, lockers, and this is the workbench. When you get upgrades, this is where you can do your upgrades. So yeah, pretty simple, simple stuff. They're hooked into CCTV cameras all over London. This one's from a supermarket near you, but the more eyes you have, the better. There's more cameras at that location, so I'll, I'll walk you through hacking them. People think CCTV cameras are secure, hardwired to police HQ, but they're wrong. I was a Royal Signals boy in the army. I can teach you a thing or two about secure comms. So this is how you save your game. It's, there's no autosave. Time for your first field trip. Those cameras won't fix themselves, and you need to do a little shopping. I can talk. No auto saving, you sleep to uh, save. And I like and dislike that, but I think I like it more. It makes it more challenging. I just hate, like, when I want to play or something, like maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes before work or something like that. Um, 
and I want to save it, but like I'm not at a save point. That's when it sucks. But honestly, I don't mind like if it's when I because I die or something like that. It's just annoying when um you gotta leave and you have no choice. <clears throat> so I don't think we go out this way, not yet. Go ahead. Go this way. I think this is yeah. This is where we're gonna start seeing some action pick up. Just give me a sec. I'll get those shutters up for you. Yeah. Okay, I already t showed you all that. And. Um, each plank can be used only once to barricade a door. So yeah, got some bodies in here. I don't rem really, honestly, don't remember them. At least wakes up. I'm gonna check them. Empty. I think for sure there are zombies though, but I don't know if they're just lying down. I hear something over there. Stop. That scared me. <laughs> It's not picking up on the radar. We do have our pistol. I only tend to use it when I'm outnumbered. Alright. She had some pistol ammo. Two shots. And that's a newspaper. Mm, you need a key card to get out. There's bound to be one somewhere at that station. Use your pad's environmental scanner to search the area. Perimeter looks calm, but now. So, just seeing how the way this works is probably a unique feature in uh, in the Wii U. But I don't know what's. I never even looked at the game on the Wii U. So, still feels like a new game to me. Oh. No. Alright, I don't remember opening that. Oh wow. So, try not to uh, think that some of these can't be opened. Go ahead and check, because I think it's the first time I've actually opened those cases. It's briefcases. Okay, I've been in here. Let's be very careful. I don't remember that zombie laying down. Maybe... Maybe it is random. Okay, this was totally different last time. In case you're scared, just hit him. That's locked. Okay, last time, there was a zombie here on the wall, like, sitting down. And it was dead. This time it's a chick lying down, so... I guess definitely it's confirmed that it's not the same thing all the time, so that's pretty cool. I don't think there's any more around here. That door's closed. Oh, what? Scared me. I thought I was going to sneak up on him. I got him. Closing that damn door in case they hear me. <laughs> that scared me, guys. Alright, soda. So this is a healing thing. Yeah, it's a small one. They'll give you a little bit of health. There's small, medium, um, large, and I don't know, full. I don't remember. Check this room. Yeah, there's no zombies in here. It's just... And yeah, maybe the loot is random. I have no idea. I think I found the card here last time. So maybe like mission things. <coughs> area. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there like that. Excuse me. 
make sure I check everything. I don't know what kind of hard battles lie ahead. But I think we're good. So we got, I think there's some zombies down there, yeah. About one or two. <clears throat> anyway, is there a door over here? That's a dead end, right? We're gonna try to lead them up here. Oh yeah, that's what I did last time. There's a minigun here. Or an MG, I would rather say. So let's see where they're at. One, two. I'm gonna get the closest one. Shit, you got incoming. Check your radar. Oh shit. I think that was it. I was a noob the first time I did that part, so the other one, I was like scared. The zombie walked up. Walked all the way over here. I don't think these doors can be opened, so. It's down here. I think it all leads to the same spot. There's a zombie I don't remember. And I think the light actually attracts zombies, so... Yeah, I don't think there's a zombie in here. Alright, got some more... Pistol ammo. You can take this off just by tapping. There you go. That's where we killed those zombies. Did y'all hear that? Oh, I think when you when you walk over the zombies, they kind of like drag on you, like in some of those games. So, kind of scared that one of them's gonna wake up. It has one of those vibes where it's gonna feel scary regardless. <clears throat> All right. So we're clear in the main lobby area. Whoops. Oh yeah, an R1 does like a quick turn. I haven't really used it yet though. Okay, I forgot this. I think it might be... It's telling me to go that way. I think we come down here later. I've gone past this door before. It scared me for a second. And I think that's a dead end over here. I, we might be able to go out that way later, but I, I don't know. I haven't gone that far. So let's go up. Oh, was it this door? It was this door, alright. This is my handiwork. A long time ago, I teamed up with a bunch of no-hopers called the Ravens of D. I helped them fortify places like this. Because we knew this was coming. I think there might be a zombie here on the left. Oh shit, let's scare me for a second. <laughs> it's kind of giving me creeps. I've gone past this part and I'm still kind of like scared a little bit. It's a large meta pack. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm kind of 
it's hot in my house right now because the AC broke down. We're gonna get it fixed tomorrow. Sweating my ass off. I don't remember if he wakes up. <laughs> Hit him just in case, right? Alright, he had some cake. And I don't remember if there's anything else, to be honest. I think I just searched everything, didn't I? Okay. Let's go down here. <laughs> I'm still, like, kind of paranoid. It's hilarious. What was that? Oh, I got an upgrade. Cool. I think I'm going to save it, though, because I think later on you get, like, a... Well, you do. I don't know if it's guaranteed. But last time I got a silenced pistol somewhere. So I definitely want to save it for that. Get out of here. <clears throat> this is basically the loading screen when you're traveling between places. <clears throat> John D predicted the plague. I'm the great fire of London that stopped it. And he saw plague victims in his own lifetime. Even tried to find a cure. The panacea. But it's a myth. You can see as well as anyone. There's no cure for this. There ain't no cure for this. Alrighty. Oh. Use your pad to scan that door and I'll hack it open for you. So when I think whenever you see that, I don't even know, but some doors you can't open. I'm not sure what they look like. I don't remember if the other doors have that, but if you can't open it, gotta do this. I'll get that for you. I've locked the place down for your safety. Okay, you're free to come and go now. <laughs> That's hilarious. And now we are outside. <laughs> the zombie. Oh. And now we are outside. The graphics in this game are so freaking. Last one. <laughs> every CCTV junction box you locate so I can hack it and bring those cameras back online. Like, man, if they made a. I really want a sequel to this game. That would have been really cool. And make it for, like, next gen. But I don't think they're gonna make one. But, anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and stop this first video here. And then we are going to move on and explore this outside world zone we're in and uh hope you all enjoyed this first part give this video a like if you enjoyed it everything else and i will see you all in the next video thank you all for watching laters